In lesson six of Ready Math in second grade, we're moving on to solving two step word problems. So we did it earlier in the year, we did one step word problems, and we used um, looking at number bonds to kind of help us look for the parts and the whole, all right, to identify what should go where in that model to help us answer that one step word problem. And something I told you then was that if you close your eyes and listen to the story and you can picture in your head what's happening, it will help you along the way. All right, so let's look at an example. And I'm going to use an open number line. Again, there are lots of strategies we can use to use a, solve a two-step word problem. You could still use number bonds if you wanted. But I'm going to use the open number line because, again, I think that's a great strategy. And we can all use it a little differently, but it works. All right, so I want to read the story again. Like I had you do the last time I did a video, if you want to just close your eyes and listen for a minute, and then we'll talk about what we hear. All right, so picture this in your head. There were 16 quarters in a jar. So think about a jar sitting on the counter with some loose change, and there's 16 quarters in it. It says Russ took six quarters. So he reaches his hand in there and takes out six. Then dad added more quarters to the jar. Now there are 18 quarters in the jar. How many did dad put in? All right. So again, hopefully you can picture that in your head. You can picture the jar. You can picture Russ taking some out, six of them to be exact. And then his dad throwing some more in there. And now if we counted it, it's going to be 18. So open your eyes and let's look at my open number line. All right, so I know that we started with 16 quarters and that we're going to take some away, then we're gonna put some back. So remember, we're jumping on the number line. We go this way to the right if we're adding, and then we go this way to the left if we're subtracting. So I'm gonna choose 16. Again, this is where our starter is. That's where we were starting the problem. I'm just gonna kind of put it right here. I'm going to put it in the middle because I know in this problem we're going to do both addition and subtraction, all right? So I'm going to switch up the colors a little bit as well so that we can kind of see, whoops, so we can kind of see what's happening in our story, all right? So I'm going to read the story again. I'm going to make some marks on my number line at the same time. So there were 16 quarters in the jar. That's where we're starting. And Russ took six quarters out. So he subtracted six quarters. So I'm going to jump back and I can jump back six because I'm subtracting six. And I did that in my head because I can make a 10, which we've already learned how to make a 10. So I jumped back six and got to 10. So when Russ took out the six quarters, there are now only 10 quarters left. All right. Let's trade colors here because then dad added some more quarters. So his dad threw in some more. So because we're adding more to the jar, we know we have to jump to the right, all right? We don't know how many he put, that's what we're trying to find out, but we do know where we ended up at, which we ended up over here at the number 18. So I'm gonna jump back now, I'm gonna add, to get to 18. So I could jump back to 10, or sorry, I started at 10. I could jump back to six and then jump two more, or I could just make a, one jump because I know if they're going from 10 to 18, I can use what I know about place value, and that would be one jump of eight. All right, so let's, again, let's walk through what happened with the story and with my number line. There were 16 quarters in the jar. Here's where we started, 16. Russ took away six, so he subtracted six, which took me over here to 10 with my subtraction. 16 minus six gave me 10, but his dad put some more quarters in, which took us all the way back over here to 18, and when I jump from 10 to 18, I know that's a jump of eight. So here's the question, where is our problem? Where's our number sentence? So I'm gonna put it up here. We started with 16, 
took away six, which took us to 10, all right? But then from that 10, dad added, I wanna put a little question mark there because we didn't know how many he added, but we got to 18. And so I could quickly kind of see knowing my place value that 10 plus eight equals 18. So dad, I'm gonna write it down here, added, eight quarters and there we go using an open number line to help us visualize what's happening in our word problem